Good morning to all of you. We are going to study the order 7 rule 11 that is regarding the rejection of a plaint. So you all know when a plaint will be rejected. So maybe uh, there are three conditions we will come to the topic later. Right. Anyway, the Honorable Supreme Court of India dealt with this case uh, in the stage of uh, final appeal. So, the clear signal given by the Supreme Court is even though there is clever drafting, clever drafting, creating illusion of the cause of action, the court has got uh, inherent powers to see that the frivolous litigations are not allowed and the plaint can be rejected under the 7 rule 11. Right. So you can see this in the case of uh, K. Umar, Khali, Umar Khan. <coughs> Sorry. The case of K. Akbar Ali versus K. Umar Khan and others. Uh, so in SLP number 31844 by 2018 decided by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. So very recently this judgment has given by two judges bench consisting of uh, Justice Madam Indu Malhotra and Hemant Gupta. So here the important point is, please remember, there, uh, there should be cause of action. Now we will go to Order 7, Rule 11. So Order 7, you all know about the plaint, when it can be rejected. Three grounds. Number one, where it does not cause a, disclose a cause of action. This is the basis on which, this is the basis on which this case entirely is resting upon. Or secondly, where the <coughs> relief is undervalued and where the, it is not sufficiently stamped, written by sufficiently stamped and it appears uh, the uh, plaint is barred by any standing rule of law, barred by the limitation or barred by law. So let's suppose uh, if a case of uh, uh, electricity, normally has to file it before the tribunal, but you can't file it before a civil court, even though you file a plaint, it will be rejected basing on this order 7 rule 11 right <clears throat> now uh, if you go through the details of the case it will be better for you to understand the issue also right yeah so mr akbar ali he filed a, a civil suit in madras high court challenging the sale deed dated 2 6 2010 executed by the defendant umar khan to some other defendants, D2 and D3. Of course, all the three died there, no more now. Right? So, what he alleged is, this sale deed is dated 2-6-2010. But, according to our uh, appellant, Akbar Ali, he stated that, there is a doc, doc, uh, preemption doc statement, doc, or a document of uh, preemption, dated 5-11-1998, between himself and the said, uh, Umar Khan. It was executed on 5 11 1998. That is before 2 6 2010. It is only a preemption document. Please remember. So, how he has executed the so called preemption is because basing on the GPA given by the D to her son. So, he has got it through GPA by the son of the defendant Umar Khan. So, GPA was given by Umar Khan to his son. Now, the important point considered by the High Court is that the GPA was given to him to attend or to finalize the court proceedings only, court proceedings and nothing extra. So, that means he doesn't have power to execute the so called preemption document. Right? But see the uh, the <coughs> intelligence of the defense advocate right so the defense advocate stated that the clause number 6 of the GPA says the GPA holds good for all lawful actions which are necessary and proper right necessary and proper what for for the court proceedings you have to understand that is why the interpretation of the statutes is important to be learned 
So, issues them generates. If you sir, when the GP is given for the court work means for production of any document, for production of witness, to stand, to file an affidavit, to give some reply for all these things and etc. All lawful activities. But uh, saying that all lawful activities cannot come under the executing the so-called preemption document. Therefore. So, the Supreme Court, of course, the drafting was so neat and was so clear with so much of flourish language that uh, normally on seeing the plaint you believe that there is a cause of action. But unless you go through the inner meaning of this uh, <coughs> the, uh, dra draft, uh, then only uh, you will not understand. Unless you go through, you will not understand. Definitely the local magistrate uh, has to give the OS number for the same and decide the matter on the plaint. So now, basing on the case of, uh, there is a very famous case now previously, Indian Tobacco Company, that is ITC versus uh, Debt Recovery Tribunal, 1998. So, the draft, the clever drafting, creating illusions as to the cause of action are not permitted in law. Even though you say that uh, so much you show this cause of action, so a clear right you show, even though yes, you may be having the idea that you have got a clear right to show, if it is clear, if it is as per law, yes, the court will agree. But basing on your clever drafting and confusing or illusions, uh, so it will not uh, stand in the way of the court. Even the court has got inherent powers to see that this type of vexatious litigations are not allowed to consume the valuable time of the court. Because you have to understand the GPA was given only for the proceedings, for to obtain the court, to go to the court and uh, attend the legal proceedings, not for uh, execution of the sale or sale agreement or the preemption documents like that. So, <coughs> this, uh, 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 this dismissal is on the ground, on the 7 rule 11, is on the ground that uh, there is no GPA to Zakir Ali to enter into any preemption agreement. Clear. Therefore, it is rejected. So, this is the importance of uh, the so-called uh, <coughs> order 7 to 11 rejection. Of course, you have got so many other channels. If once it is rejected, you can fresh a fresh suit, fresh shoot. Or it is you all know that it is equal to decree, so you can go for appeal. See? So, Supreme Court has categorically stated that. The important point here is the clever drafting and creating illusions uh, cannot affect the courts. The court should not be misguided by the drafting. They should go and they should uh, separate the chaff from the grain and they should see whether any whether there is any right to shoe to prove the to prove the play. That's all. Otherwise, it will definitely be rejected. Good judgment. Please go through it and enrich your legal knowledge. Thank you very much.